welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. I am the two-time, two-time, now Box of the World winning the Box of the And I am still the one-time Box of the World winning chef, autistic chef, David Leahy. And we have, um, you're thinking it's a short one today, right? Yeah, we're doing, just doing a little shorty, a little quickie video. Yeah, getting our feet wet in the new year, right? like dipping our toes in, because yep. 2020 was not a good year, was it? No, it wasn't, not at all. So today we're doing just a jambalaya penne. It's a real like a big. So basically, it's basically jambalaya from the from the cookbook with a little penne. You'll see. It's really easy stuff though. Not, nothing like too fancy. Before we start though, David, penne for your thoughts. Oh God. I'm thoughts. gonna get bad jokes and get used to it. If you haven't figured it out by now, you're not paying attention. God damn it! Please tell me now. So we got garlic toast here. We're gonna put that in right now. I'll start with that. Keep an eye on that. So, got our water. Yeah, we, uh, we kind of took a little of a shortcut. We already reduced down our um, our pasta here a little bit. You can come in with the camera if you want. So, this is just uh, just olive oil and water. We'll keep it really simple here. This is our jambalaya. You can add water if it, if it's a little bit too thick. You can add a little water to it to. Uh, down. Want to reduce it down by at least at least half, at least half. So see, see how much? Uh, see, so it started around here. You can tell the ring, and that's where it ended. That's what you want. So this is kind of how I learned to do passes at work. I'm kind of going from that little. Uh, this is how I'm doing it. Also, people never get this right. You gotta always season your pasta water. You gotta go kind of heavy with the se the pasta seasoning, with the water. You have to season it kind of heavy. People always seen the bits about, about that. There's nitpicky about it. Some people say too much, too little. Some people say too much. I have to go kind of between medium and heavy when I when I when I, when I season my, my pasta water. So, but that's personal preference. It's all personal preference. You can pick whatever you want. So, there you go. Also, if you want to get really fancy. If you, there's also, this is also in the cookbook as well. You can, it's also in the cookbook as, as well. Your garlic butter. This is also in their, their little cookbook thing. At the very end, before you add your, when you add your pasta, you can add a little bit of garlic butter in there. Give it some more, give it a little sheen. A little, a little Monte a burr. As a, the old French of Monte, uh, to, to melt with butter. Your sauce, give it a nice little sheen at the end. It's an old, it's an old school French trick. Enjoy. Just gotta keep an eye on your pasta. Make sure you stir it constantly, a little bit. Stirring it doesn't stick too much. I added oil in there because uh, it would not stick. So now that it's down, like it's nice and hot, you can turn your pasta down to minimum. Until the pasta is done, and when the pasta is done, you can you can crank it and then just finish it with, with uh, nice and hot. Always clean station. So, see, I have a spot for my my used spoons. Always work clean. Cook clean, work clean. I'm trying to do that. I'm trying to be more like that and do that more. It's so I'm, I'm even I'm learning that to do that. So there you go. Learn the work, work, cook clean, work clean. So since we're here, I'm gonna grab. Feta, we've got our feta cheese here. And this is not really traditional, but this is kind of a, uh, this was, we call this a bit of a throwback to um, my days at the macaroni grill in, in Vancouver. So we did a pasta with uh, a sausage pepper pasta with, uh, with feta on top. So this is kind of a throwback to that. I think you can do better than that. Oh, better than that, oh. You know what? Um, I'm assuming you might have heard that one brief for. Oh, okay. Add also, when you're reduced, since it's off the burner, throw in your butter. Good shot of butter there. You can just let it, let it melt in there while you cook the pasta. You want regular feta, not not that crappy light feta. Ugh, gross. And for this plate, we're gonna use the official. The official Tissue Chef food board. 
this is a thank and my big thank you to uh, my my uh, mother-in-law. I will not name her name her directly here, but this was a hell of a Christmas gift. Thank you very much. She, and this is this is carved in there. His chef is his chef is carved in there. It's very cool actually. <laughs> Check it out. So thank you very much to my my mother my my future mother-in-law. Thank you very much. This is an excellent gift. Thank you. Thank you. So let's give that a quick wipe. Wipe your station down. The pasta should be a couple minutes off still. Oh, keep an eye on your pasta. Give it a check. Ow, ow, ow. Not yet. You want the real feta. If you're gonna do this, Go all out, get the real fat, like the actual real feta. And also another trick, please for the love of God, keep it in the brine, duh, it lasts longer. I know it's catching obvious here, but I have to say it, it lasts longer, it's in the brine. So, also got our green onions here. And this is basically a variation of it, of the uh, past, of the uh, jambalaya. Also, if you want, you, before you add a jambalaya, you can also add some prawns in here as well, or shrimp, or prawns to it. Add your jambalaya in, and then add, add your penne. So, seafood, you can do an actual jambalaya with like a classic one, with seafood in it. So, there's also that variation as well. So, a couple of nice, nice large prawns, and you'll be good to go with that. So, there's also that, that variation. I thought I'd pick that too. You want the real feta. If you're going to do this, go all out get the real feta. Like the actual real feta. And also another trick. Please, for the love of God, keep it in the brine. Duh, it lasts longer. I know it's Captain Obvious here, but I have to say it. It lasts longer than the brine. So, also got our green onions here. No, this is basically a variation of it, of the uh, past of the uh, jambalaya. Also, if you want, you, before you add a jambalaya, you can also add some prawns in here as well, or shrimp, or prawns to it. Add a jambalaya in, and then add, add your penne. So, seafood, you can do an actual jambalaya with like a classic one, with seafood in it. So, there's also that variation as well. So, a couple of nice, nice large prawns, and you'll be good to go with that. So, there's also that, that variation. I thought I'd pitch that too. That's Come on. I think that's ready, yeah, that's done. Also done. So we're gonna do a, a long cut. So can I? This is. Oh, perfect! Just like that. So we want like a long, a long bias cut. Very long bias cut here. That way wasn't as good, but when uh, Paul. That's done. Put our pan on. I get the max. So, I'm gonna crank it to the to, uh, max. Give it a quick stir. Slowly add in our now we're gonna slowly add in our pasta. Also add a little bit of water as well too. You can go a little bit under if you want to because it's gonna cook in the pasta too. So 
Why you can go a little bit under if you want to. Ah! Don't do that either. Shit. Oh, God. That's using a noodle. Oh. I don't have a noodle. I'm not too bright. So. Most the pasta should absorb most of the water and want a nice coating. Not like too much of a coat, but like a nice coat on your pasta here. See that looks like a nice nice kind of glaze on it. If you undercook, and even you let it cook for like for a few seconds, though, like uh, Got it here. Just want little crumbly bits. Not too much, just a little bit. A nice pile of green onions. on top. And then just like that behind it. Just like that. Oh let's get this other way, this other way. There you go guys. Jambalaya penne. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Hope you guys enjoy. There we go, guys. Should we do a taste test on the camera? What the hell? You know what? What the hell? I'm going to do a taste test on camera. I don't you know these, but what the hell? Some sausage here. And the penne. Oh, that's so good. Oh yeah. Mmm. Not too, it's not like, it's nicely coated pasta. So it's not like drowning. But it's just jumbo in the back of the throat and it cooked the, the penne. That's good. Mmm. Alright, folks. So until next time, I'm the autistic chef Dave Leahy. And I'm still a one time. One tiny box is one winner. And this motherfucker here. I don't think I've ever had sex with a mother, so technically that's a false statement. Sorry. But I am the two-time, two-time, the box of the award winning the box it. And we will see you next time. Until next time, guys. Peace. Bon appetit. Bye, everyone.